I'm talking English. So, I'm thinking English, right? Hi guys, I'm Alice. I am getting lots and lots of comments saying how I speak English like this. So I thought, why not I make a video about that? Because I'm trying my best to reply all those comments about how I speak English. If you guys don't know yet, I'm from Turkey. And my mother tongue is Turkish. Also, I'm getting some stupid comments like, oh, you talk like someone who's Turkish and trying to speak in English. Well, that's the evil of YouTube. People don't know you, don't try to know you, just watch one videos and begin to criticize. But that's a different story. So, how I learn English? Now I'm 24. I began to learn English when I was just six. When I was in primary school, I was in private school. So I studied lots and lots of English, like 10 to 12 hours a week. When I was in high school, first I went to public school, then I changed to a private school. And in that private school, even our math lessons are in English. So in high school, you should know English. You should understand, talk and listen English very well so you don't have much choice. Also, when I was 14 and 15, my father sent me to London. For an English summer school, it was not like a grammar school or something, it's just a summer school. He knew that I know English, but the thing is, I'm so shy that I can't speak English. Because I was thinking, like, I will do a mistake and someone will judge me. But when you were 14 and there's no one out there to help you, you have to solve your problems, so... I just go to a staff and talk in English. And then I get back to my room and I was like, wow, I solved my problem in English. And then I realized that I love this language. Also, I love the British accent, but you know, it's so hard for you to pronounce in British way. People are commenting, telling me that I am trying to make an accent. But the thing is, I'm not trying to make an accent. This is my accent. <laughs> I don't know how I come with this accent. I'm not sure. But if I could choose one accent, I would probably choose the British accent. I don't want to use this accent. Like two years ago, I was in UK and it was like this, um, what's that called? I don't remember the name. You know, the sports thing. Anyway, I went to McDonald's and I was going back to my flat. And there was a man standing in front of my flat. So it was like, you're coming from the Olympics. Yeah, is this the Olympics? Sorry. And I was like, no, I was in the McDonald's for, you know, taking some food. And he was like, well, where are you from? I guess you're from America. And I was like, why did you say that? And he was like, your accent, it looks like an American accent. So we talked and talked and then I didn't know him, but he gave me the mail and we can chat and stuff like that. And then I went back to Turkey and I mailed him. And then I learned that he's um, the manager of Mway in UK. It was, I don't know. This was an interesting story. That's why I told you guys. Anyway, I like to talk in front of a camera, mirror, anything, or sometimes just by myself talking in English. Maybe you think I'm insane, but I like to talk in English. If I can't find someone to talk, I just talk to myself. I'm... It's like this. Like you're thinking something that happened today, yesterday, but you're thinking about that, you know, talking to your friends and stuff like that. You know, your brain works at night. The other thing is, I love American... Uh, TV shows and uh, British TV shows and I like to watch BBC. I'm not watching any Turkish, you know, TV series or something like that. But I love like Doctor Who, um, Sweets. Also first, I was watching movies in English with an English subtitle. Then you will realize it's easier for you to understand it. But the thing is, you can understand but you cannot talk. Why? Because you're thinking too much. You're thinking someone is gonna judge you so you're just telling yourself just Please be careful, uh, you know, the, the grammar is important and stuff like that. Just don't do it. Just talk like I'm doing here. I can do lots of lots of mistakes and I know I'm doing it, but I don't give a shit because you understand me. That's the point. I'm not telling you to do like, oh, I can only talk like this. But if you try, you will get better and better and better. And after that, you won't be doing lots of lots of mistakes. Try to learn lots of lots of vocabularies and words. Some people listen to others, but they listen like this. Oh, he said. He said pronunciation. What What's pronunciation mean? What should I do? What should I do? And then you don't listen the other words that he's or she's saying. That's wrong. Also, reading books can help you so much. I know we are lazy. We don't want to read in English or listen to in English because our language is Turkish. But if you want to be good at it, find something that you are interested in and read about that in English or watch something about that in English. I used to watch Eurosport horse riding competitions because I love horse riding and it's in English. Even though I don't know the words or the vocabulary that they're talking about, I still listen to it. Anyway, I guess that's it for today. Hope you guys like it and hope this video will be helpful for you. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Did you see the auto show? That's here. Just click, one click away.